Good morning. Today we're here at Sam's Club. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, as soon as we come into Sam's Club here, the first deal I come across looks like they have a two-pack of the red gold tomato ketchup. Each of these is 40 ounces, two-pack, $4.64. That's a pretty good deal. They have the picnic pack here of the Heinz ketchup. Originally $9.86. Uh, $2 additional savings though this week, $7.86. It's pretty cool. This comes with relish. Uh, two things of Heinz ketchup and a thing of Heinz mustard. I am really excited to see that the Queen Olives are back at Sam's Club. They have been out of these for a while. $7.68. Uh, for two 21 ounce jars of them. They used to be $6.98 not that long ago. This might have been a deal where it went away and came back at a higher price. $7.68 though I feel is still an okay deal for these. These are delicious. We are going to focus on some bulkier items today. Been getting a lot of comments to check out some of the bigger items at Sam's Club and some shelf stable items. So we're going to check out some canned goods, things that you can stock up in your pantry, hopefully save a few dollars. One way is uh, this Heinz ketchup here, 114 ounces for $8.98. That's the best deal you're going to find anywhere. We are about a week and a few days past Memorial Day. I said I was going to come back and check on some of the shortages and we are finding some, uh, but wanted to go over some people have been talking about Olive Garden. Now, these are the 24 ounces. Some people, one person was saying they were the 16 ounces. Uh, at least at our Sam's Club, they're the 24 ounce. $6.98 on sale this week. Uh, so an even better deal, $3.50. These are usually $5.99 or more for one. I saw one, I think at Kroger, it's $6.49 for one now. So that's a pretty good deal. We get a lot of good comments on the Members Mark Ranch dressing and dip here. Uh, I've never tried it. I do know that it is up. This used to be $10.98. It's now $11.72. So another price increase. Uh, but some people swear by this. I've never tried it. Maybe someday. I don't know. The That is the unfortunate thing if you're shopping at Sam's Club. There's no like small way to taste anything. You pretty much have to buy it and roll the dice. Uh, they do have these big bags of croutons here uh, to add with your salad. Seasoned croutons, six dollars and ninety-two cents for thirty-two ounces. Kind of away from the holidays, but I remember back uh, around Christmas time and Thanksgiving and stuff. People were looking for better deals on these French crispy fried onions. Just saw these here, wanted to point them up. They did point them out. They did go up in price. These were $7.98 before Christmas. I don't know if they just went up because we're out of the holiday season here, but they are $9.58 now. Somebody asked if I had seen the artichoke in the jar, the artichoke hearts. They have not had these in a while, at least at our Sam's Club. $7.34. These were $6.98 not that long ago. Again, maybe another instance where they went away and came back at a higher price. We see that happening with a lot of items these days. So this is the Montgomery Inn barbecue sauce that me and Jessica were talking about in the live show the other day. I don't know if they sell this outside of Ohio, but if they do, you may want to try it. Uh, it is a pretty good deal, $7.22 for two of them. Uh, it's really good heated up. Like, it, it, you know, if you're going to use some chips or something, it's a, it's a good barbecue dip for some chips. Really good on ribs, uh, but you definitely want to use this to marinate your ribs. And then you'll probably need a little bit of sauce afterwards. I feel like they have that worked out. Like you're going to need more even after you marinate it. So I guess these are just finally starting to come back in everywhere. Uh, we've gotten a lot of comments on the yum yum sauce. $6.88 here for this huge 32 ounce uh, container of it here. Which I don't know if that's really that great of a deal. Um, we've found ones about half the size uh, for $2.99, so yeah, you might save a little bit, but not much. Here's the famous Frisch's tartar sauce. Uh, if you don't have Frisch's, you probably have Bob's Big Boy, which is very similar, uh, but this is their tartar sauce. I could put this on anything. This stuff is delicious. $8.48, though, for a two-pack now. That is up from $7.98. 
I don't know, but this stuff's been going way up in price at like Kroger and stuff. And here we got some mayonnaise. Uh, about the best way to get mayonnaise anymore. They have the Miracle Whip here, eight dollars and seventy-two cents for a two-pack, thirty ounce. One of these is six forty-nine now in most stores, so that is a pretty good deal. Craft mayo is about five to six dollars for one thirty-ounce container of it. Pretty much anywhere you go, seven dollars and forty-eight cents two-pack of the 30 ounce containers. This is the one we get usually. So if you're one of the ones that have been having trouble finding the French's yellow mustard, look no further than Sam's Club. These are two 30 ounce, 30 ounce things of French's mustard here, $6.48. Now we saw at Kroger, it was $3.49 for one 20 ounce. So this much mustard would probably last us like two years. I mean, we don't use a lot of mustard, but uh, still better deal ways to save looks like the big 64 ounce jars of the mount olive dill pickles actually went down in price these were 468 now 428 it's a pretty good deal i love these pickles now i wonder why the pickle chips went down but the dill pickles didn't the big ones here the whole pickles still six dollars and 34 cents it used to be 598 and a little over a year ago these were 498 so hopefully these drop in price soon these are good. We have people always talking about on the channel, you really do have to read the ingredients of a lot of the things that are in our foods these days. This is one I always have to look out for. I am allergic to coconut, so I'm always looking at ingredients to make sure there is no coconut. Um, I've been told that coconut water would be okay for me, but I still don't risk it. Uh, this is the organic virgin coconut oil by members mark we get comments on this from time to time they haven't had it in a while it is nine dollars and 38 cents but just wanted to point that out because that is smart advice and thank you to a lot of our viewers who have been talking about that because we really do need to read the ingredients of things to make sure we know what's what we're eating i think it's funny it says heart healthy but this is mazola corn oil <laughs> cholesterol free okay this is definitely something i would uh take a look at the back and make sure here but anyway it's thirty dollars and 88 cents for this container we get a lot of comments on this this is two and a half gallons it's good to see they're getting a lot of these big containers of like their soybean oil different cooking oils 37.88 for that they got this pure creamy liquid shortening here 37.98 this is uh 35 pounds total got the canola oil peanut oil i, figured, I believe these are mostly for like stores uh, different restaurants. I can't imagine like keeping this in my pantry here. Let me know down below if you keep uh, oils this size in your pantry or at home or if you're if you're prepping if you keep a lot of this stuff on hand and uh, Yeah, I'll tell you what I feel like if we did this would last us for years This would seem more realistic for us um, well, This is vegetable oil though Wesson five quarts $13.78. I don't feel like that is a terrible price. Wesson has been going up in price in a lot of major... I saw it go up at Walmart the other day. Uh, I believe it's about $5. So, yeah, and that's uh, 40... It is 48 ounces, I believe. Not like the shrink-flated Crisco, which is 40 ounces. They do have the extra virgin light olive oil. We get a lot of viewers that say you don't want to buy olive oil in a clear container, though. So I don't know, take that for what you will, maybe do a little bit of research. Uh, $17.98 regular price, uh, sale price $14.98. So if you use this, a few dollars off this week. Here is some of the Members Mark Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil, and this is in a dark container. Two liters for $13.48. And yeah, they got the big boxes of Idahoan potatoes back in, 65 servings, guys the way to go right here they haven't had these in a while eight dollars and 58 cents for this right here and considering how much those packets are going up in the store this is a great deal and another price increase here the rotel diced tomatoes and green chili still an okay deal you can still get it for a little less than a dollar a pack or a dollar a can but they went from six fit or 648 to 698 for an eight pack so getting closer to that dollar a can i don't like seeing that but they do have uh what is this Idaho and mashed potatoes seasoned with Hidden Valley Ranch. I've never seen this before. This is an eight pack, $8.48, so a little over a dollar a piece. 
I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried these and if they're any good. Now, if you just like having the packs and you don't want to buy that big bulky thing of potatoes, uh, which I understand, you know, these are individual packs, uh, stay fresh for a long time. They got, uh, they, you got to get the buttery home style and the roasted garlic. There's four of each. Same price as that ranch season one, though, $8.48. Uh, a little over a dollar a pack, but we've been seeing these for $1.50 a pack, which is pretty crazy. Uh, $6.78 here for the giant 72 ounce box of the Minute White Rice. It's the best deal. And I see where the seeds have changed. Kiwa and brown rice has gone back up. Uh, it is eleven dollar. It was eleven dollars and ninety eight cents. Now it's back up. It was twelve ninety eight. Went down to eleven ninety eight. Now back to twelve ninety eight, making it a little over two dollars a pack. Still an okay deal, but I don't know. That was one people were excited when it was a dollar less. Uh, I hate when things go back up. Ben's original ready rice. Uh, they got the Spanish style here. That's that's funny. Don't usually see this one here. Uh, ten dollars and ninety eight cents. These went up a few months ago. They were nine ninety eight, but now ten ninety eight. Same with the jasmine rice. Uh, if I was to get them, which I really don't anymore, just too expensive. But uh, ten ninety eight is an okay deal considering they're two forty nine to two seventy nine. Pretty much anywhere else you go for one pack, ten dollars and ninety eight cents uh, for six pouches. That is a dollar eighty three a pack. So they got the grilling beans here, the bourbon and brown sugar, this kind that we've been getting since fan camps has kind of gone downhill. $9.28 though. These have been on sale at Kroger and a lot of other places for $2 a can. So you would actually save at like Meyer or Kroger right now buying them at each at $2 a can. Don't know how long that sale is going to last. This is $9.28 for a four pack. A little bit of a deal on the eight pack of the Bush's original baked beans. Uh, $11.22 regular price, $9.97 on sale this week. These are the 16 and a half ounce cans though. These aren't the big giant ones. Pretty much anytime I come to Sam's Club or Costco, I stock up some on Del Monte peas, green beans, or corn. Uh, $7.78 for the corn and green beans. So you still get them for less than a dollar. Uh, if you get to Kroger this week though, they do have Del Monte canned vegetables on sale, all the same ones for a dollar. So if you don't have a Sam's Club membership, now's your time to stock up on some of these. The peas here are $8.38, so a little over a dollar, but they've been going up everywhere. We get a lot of comments on different shells and cheese, macaroni and cheese. I think we've got, we got a lot of Velveeta lovers and we got a lot of Kraft lovers. The eight pack here of these is $15.88. One box of these goes for right around $4. Maybe a few pennies less. We see them for $3.59, $3.79. But let's say $4. 8 times 4 is $32. This is $15.88, so that's a good deal. And I believe Kraft is right about the same price. Uh, so yeah, $15.98 uh, for this. So a little more, but still worth it. They have the two-pack of the big Velveeta cheeses here. Um... The Velveeta Original 2-Pack, two, 2 pounds, each one of them weighs a pound, $13.98. We've been seeing these for $9 for one in grocery stores, so not a bad deal here. Also, I made a mistake. This is an 18-pack of the single boxes of the craft. They actually do not have the shells and cheese in right now. That is what's $15.98, but it's still an okay deal because one box of these, I've been seeing anywhere from $1.29 to $1.49, so... Still not a bad deal. If you're enjoying our content, don't forget to subscribe down below. Also, don't forget to give us a like. All the interactions on our videos here help spread our videos out across the world. We do appreciate it. Yeah, we got some comments on Suddenly Salad the other day. Saw this sitting here. This is eight boxes of the Suddenly Pasta Salad. Um, eight, seven and a half ounce boxes of them. So these are the bigger boxes, not like the ones you find at Dollar Tree. $13.98, making them $1.75 each. It's not bad. Well, another thing we keep seeing go up in price here, the Members Mark tomato sauce and diced tomatoes. $9.48 now for the 12-pack of the tomato sauce. Still an okay deal. You know, everything being less than a dollar, but it was $8.98 for both of these. Diced tomatoes, 12 cans as well, $9.48. 
So here's the deal I was excited to show today. Uh, I've been seeing that Welch's grape jelly, most of everywhere we go to, the 30 ounces is $3. Not a huge savings, but two of them here of the 30 ounces is $4.98. So you're basically just saving a dollar, but a dollar's a dollar these days. Somebody was telling us that the Members Mark uh, No Stir Creamy Peanut Butter here was really good at Sam's Club. These are two 40 ounce jars for $8.12. So just wanted to point this out. I saw this here, haven't seen it in a while. I remember when you commented on that a while ago, I was looking for it, couldn't find it anywhere. Uh, but it, it looks like they got it back in and they got the Jif Peanut Butter here, two pack. Looks like this is up now too. $11.66. These were $10.98. $9.98 a little over a year ago. But they've gone up again. Same with the crunchy peanut butter here. Gluten free. Uh, $11.66. So still a good deal. But another price increase here at Sam's Club. Good way to save on Cheerios. $6.34 for 40.7 ounces total. 40.7 ounces. That is amazing considering you're going to pay almost $5 for... I don't know, 14 ounces at Kroger. They have Honey Nut Cheerios here. This is two packs of 24 ounces. So this is 48 ounces total for $8.22. They've got the peach halves back in, guys. They got them. Look at those beauties. Oh, these are so good. Uh, $9.98. Same price as they've been for a while. These are good, though, guys. I love these. Oh, yeah. When me and Jessica get a house someday, I'm going to buy these big cans of beans and corn and just stack them like a pyramid down in my basement somewhere. Look at this. Look at this. Country sausage gravy. Chef mate. Let me know if any of you have ever tried this brand. Never tried this one. Let me know if that's any good. This is actually on sale right now. $7.58 down from $9.58. Now, this is the biggest can of sausage gravy I've ever seen in my life. So you would definitely, after you open it, you have to find a good way to store it so you're not wasting any. We get a lot of comments on these pineapple spears. Also, they are 42 ounces for $7.48. However, I can't have it because of this. Hey, they have the 20-pound bags of the basmati rice with this fancy bag here. Uh, 20 pounds on sale for what the regular price was a few months ago, $19.98. The price has since gone up to $20.78, but get them for a dollar off. It's good rice. They also are getting in more and more of the Tom Hamali uh, jasmine rice. The members mark jasmine rice here, $17.98 for 25 pounds. Remember a few months ago when they could, I, we hadn't seen these. A few months ago they were gone uh, and we hadn't seen them for like six or seven months. And then they've started coming back in. This is actually the most I've seen here in a long time. So I wanted to go over some of the coffee prices here. They do have uh, Pike's Place, Starbucks, and the Sumatra Starbucks, $39.98. That is down from $41.98. So good to see the regular price drop on that. They do have the Tim Hortons here, 100 count for $42.64. No price drop at all. I do apologize for a lot of the beeping sounds in the background. They are constantly moving the forklifts around, which I like to hear. That means they got stuff and they're packing stuff away. But we got the Folgers uh, Keurig Pods here, $39.48. Uh, the 100 count of the Donut Shop, which I do like Donut Shop. I don't like the price, $44.92. It is 100 of them. We do have some sales on some of the Members Mark coffee, though. We do have the 100 count of the Colombian Supreme by Members Mark, $27.98. That is down from $29.98. Uh, and it looks like all of these are $27.98 down from $29.98. They even got the organic roast here, dark roast. Same price, $27.98. And it does pretty much cover all the Members Mark here, I believe. $27.98 for the breakfast blend. This is pretty good. I had this at a buddy's house one time. Uh, and I, I liked it. Uh, they have the decaf here, which is not on sale, but it is $24.48, but you're only getting an 80 count. But I feel like that's an okay deal for decaf because we've been seeing decaf skyrocketing in price lately. It's good to see they have Maxwell House in. 100 count here, $36.28. Same price as it was before, but the last time we were here, they didn't have any. And they do have the Donut Shop blend here, $27.98 for 100 of them. It's okay. 
I know we have a couple instant coffee drinkers on the channel here. They got the big thing, 16 ounce thing of Folgers here, $9.98. Not a huge deal, but a little bit of a deal. And then they have the uh, instant coffee pre-measured packets here, 42 packets uh, for $21.98. I feel like this is pretty expensive. Some sweeteners here that we get comments on, Truvia being one of them. 400 packets here for $14.98. I feel like we can find a better deal on that somewhere. Uh, Splenda here, 1,000 packets for $17.98. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 1,500 packets of sweet and low here for $14.58. And the big one here that we always get comments on is equal 1,000 packets for $11.42. This is an okay deal. Prices on Starbucks whole bean is $21.93 for both the house blend, Pike's Place, and French roast ground. That's the ground. Then they have the 45 ounces of the Starbucks for $21.98. The price actually came down on these. These were $23.96. Some weird number there. It was $23.96 for these. Uh, regular price down to $21.98. So good to see some things going in the right direction. They have Seattle's Best here, 32 ounces for $12.78. I don't know, it's hard to tell because this has been going up in price too pretty much everywhere. If you're wanting to try the Donut Shop Members Mark Coffee, I would recommend trying the Ground. It's 40 ounces for $12.98, so a good price. Uh, but that's the problem I had with the pods, the Keurig pods, was that they were very weak. So you could always add a little bit extra coffee. I feel like this would be the way to go. $15.98 for the 40 ounce bags of Colombian Supreme and the French Roast of Members Mark. $15.98. Not bad. They even got the cold brew here of Starbucks. This is two bottles, make 16 servings when prepared as directed. Uh, and this is a limited, they don't carry this all the time. Yeah, see, limited time only. So when they sell out of this, they probably won't have any more, but it's $15.48 for both these. That's actually an okay deal. Ooh, they got some sales on the Folgers canisters here. The 100% Colombian, which is normally $14.46, $12.46. Also, everything we've gone over, I haven't seen a scan and go only. So these are just sales that they have. Um, so that's good. So you don't have to do the scan and go. Although I do recommend it. Scan and go is so easy. You can just scan it on your phone and pay for it and not have to wait in line. And it's pretty nice. But I understand if you don't want to do that. $11.98, uh, regular price for the uh kroger's classic this came down a dollar two on the regular price this got up to 12.98 there for a while for the shrink flated 43 and a half ounce folders here but regular price is 11.98 now and on sale for 9.98 that's a good deal good deal on this maxwell house here 48 ounces for 10.98 um yeah not bad considering you're gonna get about a little more than half of this at Kroger for the same price. So, uh, actually, Kroger does have a sale on their canisters on a digital coupon for $7.99 this week, though. So, keep that in mind. And then they have the festival size uh, Cafe Bastello for $16.94. This is the big 46 ounce thing of it. It's a good deal. Ooh, they got these back in. I'm sure some people will be happy to see these. These are the smaller ones, though. So keep that in mind, but they, this is a limited item too. I know that. Yeah. Limited time only $8 and 48 cents for a 12 count. We got a lot of viewers on the channel that like these kind bars. These are the breakfast ones. So keep that in mind, but good price too. So the nature's bakery fig bars did go up here at Sam's club too. I had a feeling they would, they were 13 98 at Costco. These were 12 98. The last time I saw them at Sam's club, but they went up a dollar too. Not surprised. Usually when we see stuff go up at Sam's Club, the same items will go up at Costco also. I don't feel like that is a Sam's or Costco issue. I feel like that's the manufacturer. And boy, if you're looking for Lipton iced tea, Sam's Club is the place to come. And it's on a little bit of a sale. Dollar savings, no scan and go. $12.24, 48 bags. All right, more importantly, they have it. We get a lot of comments on Lipton tea. Now these are iced teas, um, so keep that in mind. But $6.92 for the big canister. This used to be $5.98. Uh, and a little over a year ago, it was $4.98. Uh, no, I think we got it $4.98 on sale. It was $5.98 for a while, but $7.92 regular price, $6.92 on sale now. So good deal, I guess, for these times. 
Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you where all that Morton salt was and I asked somebody, they don't have it. They are out of Morton salt, the big containers of it here. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. So baking soda is here in its place. $8.66 for that, but who cares? We're looking for salt. I just can't believe that. I just can't believe we're, we're out getting out of salt here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Let us know down below uh, if the situation is. Uh, well, we've gotten a lot of comments that a lot of the stores across the country and around the world have been out of salt. So, you know, we're trying to figure out what's going on and we're trying to show places that have it. Doesn't look like they have any here at Sam's Club. They do have their 25 pound bags of all purpose flour back in, though. $10.98 on sale down from $11.48. I just, I. I can't get over that. They do have their 10 pound bags of Domino sugar for $7.68. We saw where this went up to $10.49 at Kroger. And the big 25 pound bag of Domino sugar is $17.68. Now we have gotten some comments uh, where there's been some shortages on flour and uh, some people have mentioned sugar too. So it's another thing we're gonna keep an eye on. We've also noticed sugar prices going back up again in a lot of grocery stores. So I wanted to take a minute to show some of these pictures here. I don't know if they have these for sale. This is the big red machine, the Cincinnati Reds back in the mid seventies. Got Crosley Field here, look at this. A signed Pete Rose jersey, Charlie Hustle. Are they selling that? $625. So if you want a signed Pete Rose jersey, you can get one for $625. Well, that was our trip to Sam's Club today. Saw some good deals in there. Uh, a lot of things to stock up on, put in your pantry. Didn't go over a lot of the meats and stuff like that today. We did do that in a video a couple weeks ago. So I will leave that video in the description box below so you can check that out here. Uh, we go over a lot of the different meat prices. Looked like they were all the same. I kind of glanced over. It does look like they're filling in a lot of their pastries and stuff like that. A lot of that stuff's coming back. A lot of their cakes, all that, which is good to see. Now, it was a few days before Memorial Day, so I took that in consideration. Also, kids have been getting out of school, so people probably buying up a lot of stuff. But it looks like some of that's replenished. A lot of the, like, candies and stuff like that look like they were pretty low, but I'm sure those will pack in quite shortly, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope it helped. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember, the adventure is out there.